no one. Got a notification it's saying two cell phone packets on life right now. Oh, there was one person. Can I can I see comment? I think so. Oh, hi. <laughs> something got a package from china wanna see it this is awkward <laughs> and see the gold jacket the gold employee jacket what Signature from all the book go employees. We have um, who is this? Mr. Lean. That's the boss of the go. And then I have Lucas, Millie at the bottom, Peter, Lavi, and another Millie. Who is that? Who is this one at the very end? Which one? Oh, end. that's uh, Linka. Ah, an extreme bowl boss right there. So cool. Oh, extreme bowl is still here, so it's all good. So cool is an employee jacket. I'm so happy to see it. It's so thick and warm. Better than the neon yellow one. Well, this is a dual layered jacket with the fleece in there. And you can remove the fleece in there too. Plus it has these side pockets as well, which is nice. <laughs> and a removable hood. <laughs> Actually, it looks good quality. Like your trip seems like a great time. It was really good. Yeah, especially the last part. <laughs> Watching it brings back a lot of memories. I wish we could put in more. But unfortunately not. Like um, those drinking moments. <laughs> and and those production line. Too bad. It has a weird smell though. It has a smell of China. Probably, it's not Gore-Tex, it's a Wet-Tex. It's a China version of Gore-Tex. Actually, it fits you quite well. I guess the arms are a little bit long, but... I thought it's just perfect. Is it just perfect? Ta-da! <laughs> the best part is with the signatures on the back. Yeah, but that means it means you can't wear it that much, or else the signatures might fade. So cool. What are the comments saying? Oh, it's Oopsie, sorry. Hi, this is awkward. <laughs> Millie doesn't work at Bigod. <laughs> <good. laughs> really, I like the color. The color is really nice. And then the yellow, the blue and yellow accents are really nice. I'm not sure why Millie signed it twice, so she's extra special. Oh, maybe she belongs to the gold and extreme bull? So she signed it twice? Maybe, I don't know. I don't not know. anymore. But this is cool. 
I don't know if I'd wear it while we're riding because I'd be scared of falling and scraping it and destroying the jacket. I think it's too special to wear it as a riding jacket. Plus, I mean, like, my office is quite messy, but I have, like, one jacket on the door, one jacket on the wall, another jacket there, and then one more jacket, two more jackets behind me. So I have no shortage of jackets. Lynx is coming. Yeah, the Lynx is a really popular wheel. Hurts from what? Mohit. Hurts. Oh, Mohit! <laughs> Are you serious? Mohit? Oh my goodness, this is, I'm shy now. <laughs> Hi, Mohit. What are you going to learn? When we go visit him, we're going to bring a learner wheel. Okay. Saturday. I'll teach you. Saturday, we'll go visit Mohit. And get him to learn. Wow. Mohit actually watched our video. Karen, the S22 named the Lynx Serenity. Wow, I didn't know. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. Is this Chinese? Oh. You're too cute. Oh. 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 I'm turning red. <laughs> you can't hide. So funny. It's like self-following camera manual. <laughs> <laughs> no tech. Lings, gold's heart. Just don't like them. Stock street tire. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people mount the Michelin Pilot street tires and. I used, I love them a lot. Like, look at this. I have two of them right there. That rims. The Kenda K262 has been a well-loved um, tire as well for the whole uh, Leaper Kim lineup since the Sherman. The Lynx. I only returned it once, I think, right? In the parking the lot. The Lynx? Yeah. Did you not ride it in China? No. Oh, so I guess it's just the Marty one. Is it the Marty so, one that you tried? No, I didn't even try Marty's one. I tried the one that um, we built. I tried uh, the Evie's one. Yeah, yeah. After we built it. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. One time in the parking lot only. And did you like it? I said it was very buttery. I mean, every new wheel is very buttery. That's it. I only tried it <laughs> once when it was new. That's it. Every new wheel is smooth and buttery. V14. I tried it the same day with the V14. I like the length more though. Yeah, I mean the V14 is a bit fat. It was fat. The S16 S, uh, was fat too. I think the V14 is fatter than the S16, no? I mean their fat is fat, right? No, there's different levels of fat. Like I'm chubby and then there's fat and then there's obese. You're, you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing videos. Oh, did it. We fall in love. No, really. We just... We just decided to make videos because we love wheels. And then we thought uh, we would show the world about different wheels and, you know, give a little sneak peek to our life. Mm, but different, though. We are not, like, um, into those normals out there. We just... But we have... Something that we will do it, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not like, oh, new will come now, then we will have to do a review. And then, I, I don't know. Yeah, we don't do this for, like, work. Mm -hmm. we, we, I call myself a 5% YouTuber, not a 100% YouTuber, like Marty Back or Ronin or Sha yeah. Sean and these guys. Um, like a 1%. Yeah, we just, yeah, maybe like 1%. Like, we both have uh, day jobs and careers and so we just do it when we feel like it so if you don't see a video for a while don't call the police <laughs> <laughs> don't foul um, what's that missing, missing person? persons claim <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird yeah we're busy with life i guess and if we have fun video we just do it right yeah it's just mainly about having fun mm. 
Plus, it is very seasonal. That is correct. Especially in Vancouver, because we have, like, rain all the time here. Wait. It's all wet and rainy. You can't really see the rain, but it's raining. What is that? Love your China vlogs. So typical. Any news? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it did. We tried on some new things. But nothing that we but can share. <laughs> cannot. All secrets until it comes out. No, we did not meet Kuji. So Kuji's in a different part of China. And it's da Dali. Right? Dali, yeah. It's mm. like, I think it's a couple hours away from Shenzhen. Mm. Uh, we literally only had five days in China. Maybe, maybe four less, days. four days. So it was super rushed. But, you know, maybe next time when we go back, we can spend more time and hang out. One day is King Song in Motion. And then the second day is the ride. And then the third day is we go. And then one more day, you went back for some more chat yeah and then that's when we didn't have enough time yeah it, it went by really quickly and we were like out of the house so like the reason why jack kind of looks grumpy is because we literally would leave our house every morning at like seven in the morning yeah so he and wakes up yeah jack's not typically a morning person so and we stay up till oh we get home near like midnight yeah yeah i think the big old night we got home at like two or three in the morning you, yeah you came back at three a.m so and then the next morning we woke up at seven to go back to Macau, mm. so it was like super duper rushed. Jack is definitely, Jack is grumpy until like after lunch. <laughs> after lunch, yeah, after he lunch. sings like a bird. <laughs> and nighttime he is good too. Yeah, he's a night person. Yeah, but at nighttime we're we're, we're like That's why at nighttime you guys got the uh, potty training video. <laughs> nighttime we're silent. Morning, we can we can do crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, but it was fun. Well, I would like to go back to that crazy mountain, though. Which one? The Grandma Mountain? The one that I thought we will... Go back a second, <laughs> back time, a second time, time, and then you fell, like, right away, with not even riding a wheel? I'm not going to wear those sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the karaoke was super cool. I wish you could have such a car in North America. And the screen rotates. That was so cool. I mean, the coolest part is the fact that he has a microphone that he can, like, control the reverb and, like, how it sounds. Oh, and you can record how the score. Oh, yeah, there's also scoring. When you're singing in the mm -hmm. car, you can see how you've done, and then you can see your score, and you can upload directly to TikTok. That was Super cool. high-tech. Why don't we have something like this here? I mean, it's something called, like, distracted driving, or, you know, <laughs> like, illegal, maybe... I think karaoke is also not a North American thing. Oh, they thing. should make one with a microphone connected to the wheel. Oh, that's called Bluetooth, right? A microphone connected to the wheel. The wheel has a speaker, right? You mean you want to sing while you ride? Jack does that all the time. I could hear him from a block away. <laughs> it was a BYD I for a song. Yeah, BYD, BYD song, song, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's from Australia. You know, you can download an app, like a microphone app. And then our megaphone app, and then if you connect to a Bluetooth speaker, it will amplify your voice through the speaker. That's okay, I'm not a singer. <laughs> but I mean, you could always connect to your wheel and be like, excuse me, on your right, on your right, on your left, and then everyone around like the whole block can hear you. <laughs> Coming through. But it was fun. I think if everyone has a chance, they should go and visit. I don't think, I don't think they do that for all visitors. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but we're glad we were able to show them then. Yeah, no, it was a good sneak peek into the world of uh, EUC manufacturers. If I find more video clips in my phone, then maybe I'll make, Just make another shorts. video. Just and make shorts. Just make shorts. Yeah. yeah. I'll have some vertical videos. I can make some shorts and upload it. Here, you want to take it? I'm going to get back to work. Mm. <laughs> There's a lot of videos from the Big Up party. I don't know if I can share them all because it's kind of embarrassing for myself. <laughs> I was quite drunk. Oh, they were they were kissing each other too. Go oh. employees and <laughs> Jack and this <laughs> chubby guy. <laughs> we were all pretty wasted. 
to see a lot of UC writers in Shenzhen. N uh, not really though. We saw some in the Philippines. We saw. Yeah, we saw, Philippines, yeah. Taiwan. We saw. Oh, this you saw in Taiwan. Yeah, Taiwan or some. Oh, Taiwan was really good too. Oh, you should make a short. I don't think I have enough video Taiwan. for it. Oh, you can make it short, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Taiwan was amazing. I'd go back to Taiwan. I think Jack said that he wanted me to go back to Taiwan and meet with him and we can go ride around Taiwan. Um, next vlog. Travel vlog. Let's do a Taiwan Wait, vlog. when you say next vlog, it means you can't do any vlogs until then? <laughs> <laughs> or it means you go to Taiwan like tomorrow. <laughs> Hard work. <laughs> next Asia trip, we'll go to Taiwan and make some vlogs. They have really good bike lanes. Good. It's really pretty too, really scenic. You were riding the Sherman S, right? Sherman S, yeah. It was quite a nice trip. Let's try right around the whole Taiwan, the whole island. You can't. There's a guy that did it. I think it's um, Pete. You see? Yeah, yeah. He's made a video. I think it's like 500 kilometers of riding. That's it. Yeah, just 500 kilometers. The whole Taiwan. The whole circling the whole coast. Oh, I think it's PD PD. Let me look it up. PD something. PD floats. What do you do both? Do what? Oh my god, I know read. What do you both do for work? What do you both do for work? She does daycare. I early have, child education. Yeah, I have my own daycare. I got, I wish I can teach all my little kids how to ride. Well, you did the other day. You tried to get Carter to ride. <laughs> Three year old <laughs> <laughs> on an M104. You try, but oh, he's yeah, see? So, so small. Floaty Pete. An Albert fix wheels. <laughs> What I do on YouTube is what I do for work. Yeah. Fixed wheels, talking with all these people from different companies. Yeah. That's why my room is full of tires and... Will you be doing tear down video on the ET Mac? I told him to. Uh, we're waiting for our studio. I forgot to get back because we have to move our studio mm. so right now our studio is just in boxes um probably in may we'll have our studio back um studio. where we can start to make videos again and when we do we'll come out with some more guides on how to tune the suspension um tear downs tire change videos maybe getting started videos of when you take your new wheel out of the box so Look forward to that, but it might yeah, be a little May, bit of a while. Maybe May then. So for now, the coming month, <laughs> there might be little shorts here and there, but most likely we won't have any big videos. videos yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean the ET Max is a great wheel. It's also really big, so it's not for everyone. It's really tall. It's really tall. Very, yeah. Very very tall. But I mean, it's not yeah. Fat. It's just. Skinny it's skinny and, and tall, yeah. Skinny and tall. But I mean, it's still a great wheel. It's super stable at high speeds. Like if you ever like to ride above 70, if you like to cruise around 70 kilometers per hour or higher, the ET Max is a deadly stable wheel. I can ride it too. I can turn In it. motion secrets, like what? Like the V13 Pro? Where is the motion secrets? Uh, give us some in motion sectets. <laughs> Emotion. Um, yeah, the ET Max just takes a little bit more to kind of tune, I think. I think a lot of people don't tune it that well. But it's definitely not made to be as cushy as um, the Lynx. Because the Lynx, Patton, Sherman S are all very cushy wheels. Very comfortable wheels. ET Max. Oh, I don't even remember. But I mean, I bottomed out the Lynx in China, so I'm... Oh, suspension though. Yeah, I'll pass. I'll pass on the links. It's all the brick cam suspension is like that. The more you use, I mean, there's not they're not good for heavy people. I'm just I'm just on the the heavier side of the scale, so I have to choose my wheels wisely. I mean, I still like the pattern though. It's still a good wheel. But like, you bought them down in like three steps. That's that's the only thing I don't didn't like. I was shocked. Haha, <laughs> you're shocked. That I fall down that. Yeah, I mean, that's the only it thing. Rides well. It does ride well. It does. But just the bottoming out, I just feel that, you know, if you bottom out a lot, you can eventually break the wheel, so. Yeah. 
bathroom. If you have to change your riding habits or you have to constantly think about the paths you want to take, being limited by the wheel is just not fun, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like, if I have a wheel, I want to be able to do everything. I want my personal to be the limit, not the wheel to be the limit. V18? December. V18. I mean, if it comes out in December, it's going to be it's a next year late, wheel. Right? Yeah. It's too late. Um, the one I rode in China in my first video, when I went down the stairs, the steps, that was a 70 pound Lynx. That was Jack's Lynx. It was Jack's personal Lynx. I mean, he was testing it. So I mean, like it could have a lot of wear on it. Yeah. To be fair, I didn't adjust the suspension at all. So I don't know what his compression dampings or his preload or whatever was set up. I think he just took it out of the box and rode it. You did at the, at the factory. They took one out. Yeah, but I mean, like, that was just me bouncing on it. Like, I, And then it bottomed out, no? I don't think that one bottomed out. No? no? that one didn't bottom out. But I mean, like, that... They, they adjusted. We okay. didn't even ride it, though. Like, I'm just jumping on it. True. Like, if you it can... It was close, though. If you can bottom a wheel out just by hopping up and down, then it's really soft. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was close, though. I think Emotion will probably release some new wheels before December. Oh, if you're 155, I don't think you can bottom out. I'm like 230, so... Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm like really heavy. Really dense. Hi, Roger. Oh, Roger's... Why come we not riding? Roger can... I mean, any, any suspension wheel coming from a non-suspension wheel will always be comfortable. I mean, Roger just got his links, too. I think he's testing his links with his Clark Pads Titan foam. One seventy sixty six. Yeah. My jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Loving the links. Wheels sent me link to your video for setting up links. Oh, cool. I don't think I have a video f specifically for the links. We just have the Sherman. building What's building the up Sherman? the wheel, no, setting up the wheel. Right? Oh, and the pattern that we did. The pattern video? Yeah. Hmm. I think we did that one. I think there's a lot of videos, a lot of good videos that comes to suspension setup and settings for the links or other Leaperkin wheels. I think I saw a bunch on YouTube. There, yeah. Right? We just put out um, random video that's not common. I try to make videos that nobody else has made so that at least it provides value to you guys. No need to re remake the wheel, so to speak. <laughs> oh, uh, yo, you said it, it was the same. Yeah, I think it's all the same uh, for all the Leaperkin wheels, Patton, Sherman S, and it's the Lynx. Same, same parts anyway. Yeah, very similar. I should probably get back to work. Okay, okay I'm gonna get back to I'm work. Gonna say bye then. Okay, thanks for coming. Just random chat. Random chat, showing off the Bigode jacket. <laughs> Speaking of which, they spelled, Levy spelled his own name wrong. Just stand up. Oh, let me. Move the camera. I don't know if they can see it though. Put the camera around. I'm trying. Oh. Where is it? Where is the name? Are you too close? L E I V. <laughs> Let me spell his own name wrong. See you guys. Thanks for chatting.